Okay, here's our, that's the road, and the Brandon Road that goes in front of us. Our property starts out past those woods where that deer is sticking his head out. That's kind of cute. And go across the way. This is all our front yard. This has been freshly reseeded. We're about 250 feet back off the road. Virginia is there in front of the house. In the swing, we have a rather high swing with lots and lots of room to swing. Yeah, part of the rope's falling off too. It's okay. We come down the driveway. See, there's plenty of spaces to park. We've had seven vehicles in here, and we still had plenty of room. Down to the front of the house, where you can see in. Okay, we're not going to go in through that door because we generally walk in through the garage door. The back door. Here's our van. First, we're gonna, I guess, take a run through the backyard a little bit. It's our well house. It's the beginning of a path that Nathaniel and Daddy wandered through the woods the other day. It took us about a quarter mile from here down the road. It's our backyard. And there's lots of paths in here. Our clothesline. That's the garage and the main house. And there's a Samuel. Hi, Samuel. Okay, we were going to go through the garage. I think what we're going to do is bypass that route. Go straight in the back door. Go in the back door. See, we've got a little patio out here. Going up the stairs into the living room. So here you will see a little desk area for listening to CDs of sermons and taking notes. Got some of our pictures on the wall and a piano. The only trying to tie our shoes. Here's our fireplace. Our entertainment center, that's where our computer and our Wii and our TV live, and inside those drawers is also a stereo. There's the plaque that Grandma made for Virginia all those years ago. Looking out into the front yard. This is our living room. out of the living room towards the back of the house. We're now in the dining room and the kitchen. A little galley kitchen. Notice that we have a ton of storage space. These are our new school shelves that mm -hmm. haven't been filled yet. Mommy, wait. Our bookcase for our school shelves. Mm -hmm. And Go ahead, Vanna, get the other side. And our toys on this side. So we've got an awful lot of shelves. Here to go down this hallway between the front door and the back of the house, you would see we have actually three closets that same size, plus two more closets on this side. Plus another closet. Plus another closet. That's As you come down the center hallway, this is pretty much a tornado shelter. Um, this is at the dead center of the house. They're about 12 feet from any exterior wall. Virginia, close that place. That's just the furnace. Um, you'll see the little half bathroom here. We have Samuel is uh, modeling for us. We have some scripture on the wall in case you need to read. And then a nice little single vanity and of course that. Okay. We're going to continue on through making our rounds. A nice new refrigerator. This is a small galley kitchen. Uh, still plenty of cupboard space for what we've got. Yeah. We have added to the cast iron collection. And this is our original skillet. This is a smaller one and uh, a big pot that we may found uh, the other day at the yard sale. We have a double sink here, and then across from the range we have our uh, in-the-wall oven. Dishwasher, and of course the Vitamix. As we come through the kitchen, we come, of course this is again towards the backyard. Coat rack, shoes. Uh, this is the red room, as you might see. You would notice why we would call it that. That's the garage door there. That would go again back out to the garage. So here we are in the red room. Wandering, 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 because it's a rather large set of rooms here. All right, and we come to... This is the front door, facing the front lawn. We have some bookshelves on both sides. And then we'll head up the stairs. We're back pretty much in the center of the house, just coming through the front door. Upstairs. And around. 
So it was all brand new carpet, which is nice. Really enjoying having brand new carpet. So this is towards the back of the house. This is the spare bedroom. We're going to get a bed for in here. We're going to have a full length closet. A good view out the backyard. We peek through the curtains so we can see the backyard. It's a rather large room. This is probably 12 by 16. And we would go, we're going to continue on the back end. This is a full bath. One of two full baths upstairs. The one downstairs is just a half bath. We have a full shower, kitchen, vanity, tub and shower unit here. Come back out in the hallway. At the end of the hallway we have this nice little linen closet. It's full of stuff we haven't yet gotten rid of. This is the master bedroom here. We have a closet in here that's about four foot by six foot actually inside that room. Our new king size bed. A couple of nightstands. As you walk through this room, you'll see this is our dirty clothes and then another closet. This closet is where we store all of our clothes with shelves on top for bedding and then hanging everything here. So it's quite a bit of room here. Um, this is still inside the master bedroom. Uh, as we come into the master bath, it's not very big, but it does the trick. So we have our vanity and our toilet and our shower in here. This one does not have a tub, just a shower. It's still plenty big enough for us. So wandering through, coming out of the master bath, out of the master bedroom, into the girls' room. This is the girls' room. This is probably a 10 by 12 room. Two large windows, one overlooking the garage, one overlooking the front yard. That's their full-size bed that they share. And a little fan, and they also have a large closet with dual sliding doors. We're going to use those hats as decoration up on the wall one of these days. Haven't gotten to it yet. And we're going to find Nathaniel's bedroom. Nathaniel's room is a little larger than the girls' room, but the girls wanted to be close to mommy and daddy. So Nathaniel also has a, a new full-size bed and table, a closet, and two windows overlooking the front yard. Of course this all has central heating and central air. You can't see, I like this little window. But, uh, it's a little bright out that window so you can't see it. I'm trying to use caution coming downstairs. Let's see if there's anything else that we forgot. Well, what we can always do is walk out this front door. I'm going to unlock it first. You'll see our front yard. We have these one, two, three, four columns up front. We have a nice little rampway for wheelchair access. It goes all the way to the driveway. As we look around the front yard, even though the cars do go by at about 45 miles an hour, they're so far away, you'd almost never notice they were there. So as this is, has been seeded in the last week or so, Hopefully that'll spring up with some nice new grass for us. That'll give Nathaniel plenty to mow. This tree was noted as a very good climbing tree. Seems like a real good way for the kittles to climb. Not sure why there's a piece of plywood on top of the roof, but they're working on the chimney, so I'm assuming that's part of the reason. Go in front of the facade of the house. Come back around. They did leave us this, these little plant pots out here. And a couple of chairs for sitting in, but I don't dare to sit in them. I'm a big fat guy. So, come around the end of the corner of the garage, and you'll see our garage. There's nobody in our garage, but we do have our bikes here. We have tools, and we have built in workbenches and storage areas and such as we go through. So, this is the door into the red room, and then our back door. That's generally the entry door for us. We come into our laundry room. You see that we have our dryer, and our washer, and our hot water tank, and our piano box, and all that. Um, these washer and dryer belong to somebody else, but we have use of them, as they currently have a house that has a lot of room. So, that's that's the grand tour of the house, including the van. Sounds like there's people in the van. If we sneak in the back door, we might find somebody. <gasps> there are people. Hello, people. Howdy. Hello, Howdy. 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 How
The Bible bag. I do not know where the Bible bag is. I'll have to find it. Well, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.